sometimes it is helpful to find occurrences of particular Greek constructions. In this video, we will look at finding periphrastic participles. These are where the word imi is used with an associated participle to communicate a single idea. To see an example of this, open the Cascadia diagram resource to Mark 1325, which speaks about the stars falling. Here the word will is a translation of the future tense of imi, while fall is a translation of the participle of pipto. We're going to construct a syntax search to see where this structure occurs. Create a new one and select the Cascadia resource. Add a verbal phrase and then add in a word element specifying that it contains the verb imi. Select the matching skips levels feature to avoid having to build the entire tree structure. Note the dotted arrow indicating that this option has been selected. Now add a second verbal phrase under the word and indicate that it contains a participle. Note that we specified the morphology at the phrase level using the head term morphology option, which removes the need to add in the extra levels of the structure and specify it there. Select the option to highlight this participle in search results. Run the search to find 171 results, including Mark 1325, as expected. However, sometimes terms are ordered differently in Greek while retaining the same meaning, which could result in the Greek participle appearing before the verb me. We can allow for this in a syntax search using the unordered group feature. Click the plus button to the right of the first phrase element and select unordered group. Rerun the search and you will get 202 hits as opposed to the initial 171. This unordered option is really helpful if you're not concerned about the order of the Greek terms but want to find all matching patterns.